Hey there witches, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to my channel, bewitching.bemused. I thought before I fully got the ball rolling on this channel, I would do a little introductory video, kind of tell you a little bit about who I am, why I'm making this channel, and what I, what my, my vision is for this channel. So first of all, who am I? Well, I'm a witch. That's probably a given. I consider myself a agnostic, eclectic pagan. I'm not going to go into all the nitty gritty of every single one of my individual beliefs because A, they'll probably come up in other videos and B, they change. My opinions change all the time, not because they're not important to me, but because either the world has discovered something new or I've discovered something new. At the end of the day, my belief system kind of comes down to magic is something that science just hasn't caught up to yet. It hasn't discovered yet. There's a lot of things that I don't incorporate into my craft, not because I don't necessarily believe it, but just because it doesn't speak to me. But I think that's one of those really fun things about witchcraft is that everybody's version is so unique. So if you disagree with some of the stuff that I say, hey, that's totally fine. I have been an actual practicing witch for a little over two and a half years. It's, I'm 31. It's not a very long amount of time in the grand scheme of things, but I did feel a call to it when I was much, much younger. That was ignored for reasons that I'll get to in a moment. But I just wanna address the two and a half year thing right off the bat because some people might go like, well, two and a half years, like, what do you know? Well, not a lot, I'll admit. I'm not an expert right now, I'm gonna tell you, I do not claim to be an expert. I don't know anything, or I know some things. I don't know everything. But at the end of the day, if anybody tells you that they have all the answers, they know everything, they're the only person you can get it from, they're full of shit, and they're either a scam artist or a cult leader. But that's a rant for another video. But realistically, witchcraft and faith in general, spirituality, they're lifelong journeys. And so I thought, hey, why not have some followers join me on it? <laughs> I am a solitary practitioner. I have looked into covens. I just haven't really found a group that sounds like the right fit for me yet, but hopefully someday that's something I really, really want. Sometimes practicing alone gets a little lonely. However, I did recently get to know somebody who is, uh, she is a friend of my boyfriend's and I'm not completely out of the broom closet, but he sort of let it slip. Well, he actually just flat out said, oh, my girlfriend's a pagan. And then she turned to me she was like, tell me everything. And so that got me really excited. And that's that was kind of the inspiration for starting this. Although I had been kind of brewing the idea of starting a channel for a while for reasons that I'll go into in a minute. As far as this channel goes, sad news is I don't have any professional equipment. <laughs> right now my lighting is a reading lamp and the window. I'm recording this on my camera, which is on a selfie stick, which is precariously balanced. So bear with me. Uh, hopefully I will be getting some professional equipment. The good news is I do have actual legitimate work experience in film production, editing. I used to work as an internet spokesperson for a couple different brands and websites that you probably haven't heard of because this territory doesn't really cross over with those ones. And I have a theater degree. So hopefully that's a little something that despite the low quality right now is still gives me some sort of quality. So outside of witchcraft, there's a whole lot of other things that kind of make up who I am and what I do. So I'm just gonna put a little scrolling list like over here somewhere of just my general interests because I do want you to get to know me. There you go. So like I mentioned earlier, I kind of felt a draw to the craft for a long time. Part of that is probably due to the fact that I grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s when we had the original charm series, the craft and practical magic. So pretty strong influencers there. Ever since I was little, I always felt really in tune with nature. Um, I really appreciated and felt reverence for nature. When I was 12, I found the occult and paranormal section because I've always been into ghosts and hauntings. That's one of my big, big things that I'm really into. And I found this little book about Wicca. I was so excited. It riled up this unique feeling that I hadn't had before, that just, it just felt right. But I grew up in a Christian household. We weren't really big church goers, but as soon as my mom found the book, 
<laughs> she lost her shit. She sat me down and explained to me that witchcraft was from the devil. And even if you didn't think you were worshiping the devil, then it was, it didn't matter. It was still coming from the devil. So not only did she throw out the book, but it also, it, it scared me. Despite feeling a pull towards witchcraft, I was raised believing in the Christian God and therefore I still believed in him. For the sake of clarity, I don't anymore. Well, it's not that I don't, I'm agnostic. So I, I freely admit I don't know. So I kind of just put that aside in the back of my mind and it's still always like kept like beckoning and I just kind of kept ignoring it, which sucks because I'm so happy with this now. For a brief period when I was 16, 17, I did actually kind of really get into Christianity. I was going to a church for a while and after a bit of time, I just, I started to realize that the majority of what I was getting out of it was enjoying the part where everybody sang together. And I realized that's not enough of a basis for an entire religious faith. It's not. You can go to a concert and get the same experience. So, so after that, I became a full-time agnostic. But it's weird because I started doing certain things that I realized they weren't full-on witchcraft, but kind of were. Like sending out intentions to the universe, meditating, lighting candles with purpose, just little, little things. And honestly, it wasn't until I was 28 that my boyfriend and I were in a bookstore and we were looking at the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey, of all things. I don't know what is going on with my candle back there. But yeah, anyway, it kind of just being in that occult book section awoke something in me and I started doing research and I started reading books and it just kind of goes from there. I start off with Wicca as I think, I feel like most people who weren't raised in a witchy family kind of start off with Wicca. I have nothing against Wicca or Wiccans in general, um, but parts of it are just not for me. And the rest is really history. Um, I've, I've done a lot of studies with various sorts of paganism. I really enjoy chaos magic. There will definitely be videos on chaos magic if that's something that interests you. I think that covers everything I wanted to say about me for now. The reason I started this channel. First of all, um... Okay, well sorry about that. I thought that candle was going nuts. Um, I'm just gonna light a new one. There we go. It was getting towards the bottom, but I don't know. That's probably what I get for buying a scented candle at a dollar store. Okay, so where was I? Yes, so when I started my journey, um, I got a lot of my information that was outside of online texts or um, actual books from communities on Reddit, a little bit on YouTube and podcasts. But I found two things. If you ask a question on Reddit, you're gonna get a hundred million different types of answers, which can be great, but for somebody who's new, it's very overwhelming. And every single subreddit is going to come with a very long list of books to read, which like, I'm a nerd, I love that. But it, again, I was so greedy I need to know it all now that I just became kind of overwhelmed with all the reading I had to do that I kind of felt like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna know as much as I wanna know. So first first thing that I noticed was it was sort of like sensory and informational over overload. It was so much to take in and I didn't know where to start, what was more interesting, what was more exciting. The other thing that I noticed was that there were very few agnostic pagans who also dabble in different occult traditions outside of paganism. A lot of people were specifically Wicca, specifically Hoodoo, OTO, or specifically Chaos Magic, and there's nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong, but when you're starting out and you're still trying to find your path, how do you know? I mean, yes, it's good to get a little bit of that, but you also want to hear about everything else. If you're like me and you're super anal about being like, what are all my options? And, you know, learning everything that there is to absorb. I did find a few podcasts and a few YouTubers and such that were more open or if even if they were, you know, Wiccan themselves, they were still very eclectic. But a lot of them didn't have that much up. 
they sort of started a podcast or started a channel and then it just fizzled or maybe their practice was more focused on specifically tarot, which is great. When I want to learn about tarot, I'll go here. But there were so many broad questions that I had that I couldn't find answers for anywhere. Like for instance, I was like, what about correspondences? What do those mean? Like this book says this, but then that book says that. What? What? Why? What's happening? Which, by the way, I'm going to do a video on that very soon. But these things are really overwhelming and it kind of made it hard to get into witchcraft. I mean, I did it anyway. I could see a lot of people who are new to it just kind of like either settling for a path or tradition that isn't necessarily right for them or just being so overwhelmed with everything that there was that they were like, just forget it. I don't, ain't nobody got time for that. Also wanted a place for me where I could organize my own thoughts and my own beliefs and my own journey. And part of that also comes with the fact that I don't have a coven, like I mentioned earlier, and I don't have a lot of friends that are into witchcraft. And I felt like even if I'm just talking at a camera, even if I'm just talking to myself or two people watch, that's something, you know? And for me, that's kind of a comfort and it makes me feel a little bit more connected to the community. And another big thing is just, I mentioned earlier that friend who showed an interest in the fact that I was a pagan and she said, teach me. And I got so excited. And I thought like, well, why don't I do this on a broader scale? So that's why I kind of want all of you to come on a journey with me. Um, on my journey and hopefully that will help your journey. So my vision for this channel. Um, I do want it to be a learning opportunity. I want it to be a little bit experimental. If I'm trying something for the first time, I may do it on camera. I would like to do book reviews, share tips and tricks, uh, share guidance and advice. I'd like to share spells. I actually have a very simple one that's probably gonna get published at the same time as this video. I wanna answer your questions, both about you know my practice of witchcraft, witchcraft in general, and about myself. I would like to do some like crafting videos because a lot of my, um, I mean, I like crafting in general, but a lot of my, my magical craft plays into my mundane craft and vice versa. That can be a lot of fun. Same thing goes for cooking and baking. I do a little bit of kitchen witchery. Overall, my goal is to have fun to have fun with this. I want to learn more. I want to help other people learn more. And that's kind of it. I mean, it's... My dog just opened the door. I'm probably forgetting a few things that I want to say in this, but it's fine. I'll, I'm just, I'm very anal about certain things. I gotta just let it go. Hey guys, real fast. I know this is super unprofessional, but realized that I forgot to include in that video, I do intend on releasing videos at least twice a week. Maybe extras if it's just like a special week or something, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just wanna include that. I'll let the other Tiffany get back to what she was saying. Yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or feel free to email me, bewitching.bemused at gmail.com. I will also be on Instagram soon. I'm already on there, I just haven't posted anything yet. By the time you see this, I might have something on there. Um, Instagram is at bewitching.bemused. Bewitching.bemused. <sighs> so yes, follow me there, like and subscribe on here, share this with your witchy friends, maybe not this one. They'll probably be like, who, why do I care? Send them another video or just say, hey, check out this channel, whatever. All right, I'll see you guys soon.